Morning, everybody. Welcome to Retro Restorations. As always, I hope everybody's uh, well, looking after each other nicely, especially in this wind. I apologise if, if all you get is loads of wind noise today. It is horrendous out there. Um, not as bad as it has been, but it's still 50, 60 mile an hour out there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna. I managed to get a video uploaded uh, the other day of taking the wing off the mini. Hopefully, I better get this video uploaded. Uh, fit in the wing. It's been a nightmare. Everybody, everybody's like, oh, get a GoPro, get a GoPro, it's easy, this, that, and the other. Turns out it's a pain in the ass. It's just trying to get. Unless you've got an up to date laptop, which I haven't, because I don't really use them, so I've never really bothered buying an up to date one. Mine's, oh, I don't know, years old. Um, you struggle, so I've been doing everything on my phone. And uh, yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare, but. I'll get around it. My, my son's got a, a nice new laptop that I might commandeer for video purposes. Right, but yeah, right, where am I? Today's mission, let me get you off of there if I can. And we're here. Going to fit the wing, brand new wing. I'll, on the, the end of the last video, or at some point in the last video, I weren't sure about this bit that came around here. It's been a few years since I did one of these and I couldn't remember if it was part of that or whether it was part of the wing. It's part of the wing, so that's just been took off. Um, I've put some holes, I've put some holes along here already using uh, the jogglers. They're a good tool to have for, for, for welding the wing on. Cleaned up all around here, I've given it a quick coat of primer but I'll have to take some paint off where I'm gonna be welding. Uh, cleaned all this off, got the wing, See, I've punched some holes around there, ready for spot welding on. And where else did I punch holes? I need to put some around there, but I might do them on that that panel down there once I clean it up. Some along there for welding onto the A panel. And some across there for welding onto there. So, yeah, what I'll do now, if I can put that down. For any of you that's new to the channel, that's um, just here for the mini, I'm not a world-class uh, cameraman. I do apologise. I apologise a lot for me inadequacies. Uh, where am I saying I could work this stand? That'd help. Let's put you down there again. There you go. Right. Yeah, what I'm going to do now is just test fit the wing, clamp it up. In the move will come to this unit, I seem to have lost um, a lot of my uh, mold grips. I've got some of the, the welding ones, you know the ones that, that have like prongs and, and come together like that. I don't know where they've gone, they might still be in my old garage. So I'll make do with what I've got today, which is, uh, well you'll see. So what I'm going to do is test fit this up. I've only got these little, sh little shitty ones, they're not very good these. Um, but they'll do for today. Test fit everything up. Uh, make sure everything's gonna fit. I had to take the bonnet off to get down into here to clean this up, unfortunately. But I'm not worrying too much. They're pretty straightforward, these minis will clamp it up and if that clamp's gonna go in there. Oh you awkward bugger. So these are just cheap eBay things and they're, they're flimsy and crap. I can't get them in there. Right, bear with us. Right, I've just been got. I've got a couple of these. These are all it for now. God, I mean the proper tools. I can't recommend having the proper tools enough. If you've got the right tools, they do the job for you. I hate messing around with the proper tools. We we'll have to find where they've gone. Right, get that somewhere so it's not completely tied up, so it's just a bit clamped. And then tighten it up once. One thing about them jogglers is I don't think they do a hole big enough sometimes for spot welding in, so I will drill them holes out a little bit bigger. Uh, once you've got it in a place where you, you know it's, it's right, you can go round and check it for fit everywhere else. Let's take you back off there again. 
See, I've still got to repair this from here before the wing goes on. But you can see how well it's going to line up. And it needs lifting a bit. But what we'll be able to do, once this is spot welded on, this is going to be the first bit of welding up here. Once this is spot welded on up there, then we can see about manipulating the wing more in other places. So like here. You see where it's down slightly. But once it's welded in up there, you better push it up, clamp that together, and job will be a good one. I always use heritage panels. I think for the, for the Clubman, I think you can only get heritage front wings for this. I, think. I don't think uh, Magnum do a, do a copy. But either way, big panels like this, always use heritage panels. Uh, it's, it's not just the fit, it's the quality of the panel, the quality of the steel, um, the thickness of the steel, the quality of this coating. So if you get a Magnum panel, this black... Um, coating that they put on there you have to take it off completely it's not a good enough base to paint onto with the heritage panels you just flat that back and paint on top of it it's fine so right what I'm going to do now then is go round now we know it all fits up that bloody wind it's all going to go into place Jesus Christ <laughs> that's awesome some right weather What I'm going to do now is I'm going to repair that bit on the front. That's a simple repair. Um, basically, weld it in. It's as simple as that. There's no messing around with it, really. So, I'll repair that front up, come back, we'll get some video of this being welded in and how I, and how I do it. So, guys, this is where we're at now. I've cleaned all the work, I've just put two tacks on there. Um, sorry if I get you in the right position, I'll let's see. Two spot welds on there already, just hold it in place. I still can't find my clamps, so I'm gonna have to settle with these for now. It's not gonna affect the job, quality of the job, it's just gonna make it a little bit slower, that's all. I've um, welded that up, that just wants a slight skimmer filler on it now. Um, not worrying about lining this up just yet. This is all, this top line's lined up. So that's where I'm gonna get out. I'm gonna spot weld all these in down there. Um, see what I'd normally do is clamp it, several clamps down and just buzz, 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 buzz. But I'm gonna have to move these as I go. Uh, make sure it's lined up up there. So a quick tip for you, we're welding, welding masks in general. These have been down, um, I haven't done any welding for quite a few weeks now. Um, and they've just been in the dark corner over there, well they're solar powered, so the batteries have gone flat. I've had to go and put them outside in the sunlight for 10 minutes just to give the batteries a bit of a charge. So uh, they weren't dimming when I was trying to weld, when I was uh, doing that bit. But, so, right, what I'll do now then, yeah, so try and keep your, keep your masks in some sort of sunlight so you can see what, uh, what's, what's what in. Maybe there, like so. Try and clamp these up as tight as you can get them. And oh, a little bit longer than that one. paint off on the inside and giving it a coat of um, well through primer. Got it so much easier when you just got your mould rips that just clip done. Blinded 
knock them in a little bit. Not the, the metal, so it's actually touching. We don't want any gaps in between. I think that's what's happened with that one there and that one there. Is it been clapped up enough? Where's my hammer? Where is my hammer? What's there? These ones down here, which I'll show you in a minute. I couldn't get you. Well, if you can see down there, let's get a torch on it. That's where I've had a bit too much gap between the panel and the new panel and the inner wing and it's made it explode out a little bit and it did it there as well so I've just got them there buzz these ones in here buzz them ones in there and uh, I'll come back to you 
Right. I'm going to have to buy a new mask. I've got at least plenty of battery in it. It's not dimming right, can I can't really see a thing now. But yeah, just punch on them up, keep on this bit. You're not trying to line that edge up on there. You're trying to line them two panels up there, so there, and it's flush. And these corner bits here, make sure it's just lined up. And there, not with yeah, the see how that's sticking up a bit there, and it's actually gone down a bit back there. There. So, welding clamps on. I'll walk around and show you what, what, what we've done. Welds down there, holding the A panel to the wing. They just want tidying up now. Uh, there's three spot welds across there. Uh, there's three spot welds in there. See if I can get this light around so you might be able to see a bit better up. And there's the welds across the inner wing there. They just want dressing up a bit now. What I've got left to do is the spot welds inside here. This lines up more or less, just wants a little bit of fettling. So you have a bit of playing things just to to weld that up and then I need to get it and I'll have to get it up in the air, get the wheel off and spot weld on the inside of that seam in there uh, yeah, set the spot welds there and the, the wing's on so what I'll do is I'll do that now get get it all welded on you don't need to see all the welding it's, you've seen one bit, you've seen it all really I'll dress them welds up there um, go and get the bonnet which is in a different unit so I'll go and look and get that and hopefully, fingers crossed, everything lines up. It should do because if this had been messed around with a lot and had a lot of patchwork, the inner wings had been patched up, the front panel had been replaced or what have you and what have you, um, I would have worried and I'd have been constantly test fitting the bonnet to make sure everything lines up. But this is all factory original. The scuttle panel's original. The only thing that's replaced on this front end is that A panel. Um, so I know everything's going to pretty much line up as it should. There is still a bit of manipulation if need to be. If needs be, I can I can still force the wing this way a bit, or or even in a, bit, a little bit, uh, without much drama. So and they they have they have quite reasonable size panel gaps anyway around the bonnet. So I'm not well, I'm not too worried. About it. The blooming wind, the door's going. So yeah, I'll tidy that up, get that welded, go and get the bonnet, and we'll see how it fits. Right, people, this is where we're at now. It's all welded in. Spot welded down that side, spot welded along there, along there. Still need to dress them welds up there, but I need to get a new um, finger sander. Spot welded, a couple of spots in there around there and on the inside down there and I've just fitted the bonnet I haven't test fitted it yet I haven't test closed it yet should I say I've just literally bolted it on using the marks from the old washers and that for, as, as like witness marks just to bolt it up and I'm going to see now whether it shuts I've had to retouch that up re-weld that there it's going to want a little bit of smoothing out and a bit of fettling um, when I get the finger sander 
So, right, let's put this, uh, in fact, I'll keep hold of you. Let's put this lid down and see what happens. See if it fits. So it's not touching anywhere. You know what? That's not half bad. Straight line down there. The bonnet needs just coming forward a little bit to bring it level with that. Uh, it needs to go back a little bit on this side, but look at that gap. There's nothing wrong with that. Well, in a little tiny bit of fettling, that'll do. Perfect. See, it's just a little bit high there, but all I do is loosen the, the nuts on the hinge, push it down, and it'll go down. It's going to sit a bit low here because you have the little rubber stoppers underneath. So once them stoppers are in, it'll uh, it'll bring it up level. But yeah, I'm more than happy with that. Give it a quick rub down with some uh, 180 grit. I've got to rub the whole car down yet. There's still quite a bit of work these doing. There's going to be a bit, quite a bit of rubbing down. I might even get some industrial paint stripper on the roof because there's quite a lot of flaking. So it's quite a lot of rubbing down. I might just strip it back to bare metal and uh, start from fresh. It'd probably be easier. Right. Next job you guys will see will be the sill, I think, on this side. The sill on this side, well, it's not. It passing MOT, but it's crusty. It'll not take a year or so, and then it'll start needing welding. So I might as well take it off, replace it. I've got a genuine one here. So that will go on there. Uh, what else is there? There's a couple of bits I'm not going to bother. There's a little patch once doing under the rear wheel arch down there. I'm not too concerned about it. I don't know if you'll be able to see in the dark. But there's a couple of little holes there. That's not the end, that's just straight, straight patching up that. It's not, you're not even able to see when it's done. This here is getting replaced. I've got a new one. Let me put you on the stand. Still wandering around. This unit's getting right, really too small for me now already. I'm tripping over myself, I've got too much going on. Uh, put you on there. Expert cameraman again. Lift you up a bit. Oh, 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 oh. Thank you. Right, something a little bit like that. Close enough. Right. Close enough for you to see what's going on. So, this is from M Machine. I couldn't find anywhere else that sells it. So that is what sits in there. Obviously it needs cutting to, I don't know if you can see there, it needs cutting down to length an angle to join in with that one. It's all right, I'm not going to mess around with pairing it. It's £30 including delivery. In fact, delivery costs the same as the part. About £15 for the part and about £15 for the delivery. So. <coughs> That's got to get done before I can even uh, think about paint. I'm not leaving it like that because all that will do now, when, the, when I took it out, the original frame off, the frame that goes around it, it was all full of silicon. We squirted silicon all around inside it, all underneath the frame down there. So what that was doing was stopping the water coming out. These little gullies here, these are where the water is normally drain out. But because it was silicon not all the way along there, all the water could do was pull up inside and, and rot it out and go in. So all basically all the water was well, most of the water was running on the windscreen and then going inside. Luckily, the floors are absolutely solid enough to ride out, but that's mainly because it's been parked in the garage um, ever since it was re sprayed basically back God knows when. Uh, the guy always garaged it, he only ever used it to go. He used to tow it behind the camper van, going all, all abroad and stuff like that, and it used to come out, he'd go abroad twice a year, he'd tow it round, and then it'd go back in the garage. 
but uh, that's that's what saved it. That's why it's so so good shape. Even these lower quarters. If I take you off there. Even these lower quarter panels and rear corners. They're all original. The sills, uh, the steps. Sorry, that's original. This sill has been replaced in the past. The aid posts are original. You can see it needs a bit of work down there now. Um, yeah, all this, all the bodywork, barring the A panels, is original. So, yeah, it's testament to keeping them in the garage. It makes a world of difference to how long your car lasts. Right, apparently, originally, it was owned by a doctor. It was originally an automatic, but now it's a 1275 with a manual. And it was owned by a doctor, and he used to go to his surgery every morning, come home every day, and that was it. Never used to do anything. So, yeah, I'm rambling on again, as always. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, uh, press the notification button. Follow me on Instagram, CSM Retro Restorations. I am on Facebook, don't really do a lot on Facebook, but if you want to get hold of me on Messenger, you can do through there. Um, and, yeah. Oh, quick question before I go. What do you reckon about the colour? Should I go with, I'll take you off there again. It might not pick it up in this light very well. It's like a, it's like a really dark blue purple metallic, which I dare say actually looks really nice. Or the original blue. Mm. I can't decide, I genuinely can't decide. Let me know what you think. I'm happy either way. You back on there. Oh my god, that clip's hard. Wow. Right, as always, thanks for watching, guys. See you soon. Take care of yourselves and each other. Bye bye.